Rebecca's child. I also received a letter, and I would like to disagree with the mayor by reading, just to be clear, the first paragraph. Dear Mr. Osborne, Ms. Rebecca's child, Ms. Marchand, Ms. Bomar, and Mr. Aury, those are all the people who received this letter. Please be advised, this office and the undersigned have the privilege of representing Mr. Mark Fitzgerald personally and relative to the matters discussed in this letter in his capacity of, as the mayor of Loveland, Ohio. Okay. Thank you. You just, you just validated what I was trying to explain to the previous lady. And there's, there's no, there's no, if, if you have any matters you'd like you know, to discuss regarding the business of the city, you're welcome to. I've never spoke before this council before, and I would like five minutes to discuss this. It is long talking about a matter related to the city of Loveland. Fine. That's perfectly fine. So, like I said, my name is Haley Rebecca Child. I'm from Loveland. I grew up here, spent my formative years here, graduated from Loveland Hearst High School in 1989. I then went on to serve in the Navy, and I married. I became a Navy spouse. I, I was a spouse for about 15 years to a now retired uh, Master Chief EOD technician who served in Afghanistan. During the time that he served, I was privileged to go on to get two degrees, one of which is a degree in humanities. And my focus in my studies was relationship violence and helping communities solve violence helping communities solve problems. Now when I came back here, my marriage ended and I came back because Loveland's fantastic. We got a great community, we got great um, special events, farmer's market, arts council, all those things were booming when I decided to come back here. And immediately I found cause of, um, of concern. Um, I saw that Loveland was having a relationship problem with its farmer's market, all right? So I decided to become supportive. I have some skills as a community organizer, so I rounded some people up to try to see what was happening and to try to rally support for the farmer's market. And we showed up here in spring of 2016. Now you blink an eye, a year goes by, and December of 2017, there's an ordinance passed that we will be discussing here tonight that once more puts the farmer's market at odds with the city. So if this isn't a relationship problem, I don't know what is. This ordinance would have increased cost to the market by 4,000%, not to mention that it drug in all the other special events of this city by involving them, increasing the application fees, okay? So hopefully we can get that resolved tonight. But this is, this is why I'm here in front of you. This is why everyone is here in front of you. We have come together um, in response to these events, this is why we for formed Loveland Community Heartbeat Political Action Committee, because we believe that Loveland deserves better. And quite frankly, sir, this letter right here, which is obviously an intent to silence and threaten us, cannot stand. I expect more from my elected representatives. I expect more. I question how each one of you are implicated by this letter. And I question how you associate yourself with the sender of this letter. Do, is it acceptable that the mayor of our city be a, a, a harasser? I think you're, you're, okay. you're, you're venturing a field. Is it acceptable that he sent this letter? Do you want to associate with that come election time? You should think very hard about this. I'm sorry, sorry that Steve Zamagius is not here to hear this tonight. Because you need to think very hard about this come election time. Do you align with this? Because this is not the kind of character that we want from our city elected representatives. Thank you. One more thing. One more thing. You have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. My address here, permanent address, 35 Miami View Drive, that's where my parents live. They're 70 some years old. This is my permanent address. I will inherit this home, okay? I come back there, but I stay with some friends across the river, a block from here, all right? So if you'd like to follow up with this letter with something legal or illegal, sir, I live at 127 Lion Avenue, just to be straight, 127 Lion yeah, Avenue. If you, would, if you would like to direct it to the author of that letter, that would be, uh, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much.
good with gas. Here we are. <laughs>